Good morning YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well so far this morning. Today is going to be a prep update video and we're also going to make some veggies. I've been really, 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 really bad, really bad at eating my veggies this whole entire prep basically. Um, now that I have to track my veggies, I eat less vegetables because I'd rather have other kinds of carbs which isn't necessarily good. We all know how beneficial having vegetables is and the amount of micronutrients they have so I definitely want to start incorporating more veggies into my diet so I'm gonna try and come up with some roasted vegetable mix. We're gonna make them in the oven um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that as well as how I'm gonna track a big batch of vegetables and how I would input the recipe into my fitness pal and uh, basically see where else the day takes us so far my day has been going pretty good I already got some feedback from my coach for my check-in this morning and I got really really good feedback which is exactly what I needed because I've been feeling pretty I don't know how to put it into words uh, but I, I guess exhausted um, as you guys have heard in my previous vlogs where I talk about my prep I feel very mentally exhausted and obviously the traveling isn't helping in the last prep vlog I did um, you guys saw me looking pretty tired feeling pretty down on myself and I think that's just things that come with prep especially when you're traveling and you really have to just go that extra mile to make sure that everything you have to do is being done so obviously that got to me and then the fact that I was like it was like a full day of traveling and I came home and still did some cardio didn't help and my body was just feeling super exhausted so I talked to my coach about it uh, Jose you guys know with all the training protocols um, and he decided that we should do a deload week so that's what's going on this week we're deloading again I know I just did one like I think four or five weeks ago but honestly I just feel like my body needs it again when I trained I always push as hard as I can and I'm constantly upping my weights every single week which obviously isn't easy on my body when I am dieting and I'm on a caloric deficit and I don't have enough calories to recover as I should be so I think it's a really good idea that we're deloading I am so freaking happy that he listens to me um, and listens to what I have to say because I mean at the end of the day it is my body and only I know how I feel so the fact that he takes that into consideration is literally I'm just so thankful because a lot of coaches don't do that so Jose if you're watching this shout out to you <laughs> thank you so much seriously um, but yeah his words just really lifted me up this morning he said that, that everything's looking really good I last week I went in at 126.2 and this week I went down to 125.4 and we did hit 124.8 yesterday so it all averaged out to like 125 which is a new low in terms of my average for the week because my weight usually fluctuates like crazy so all in all I think we're doing really good and I'm just being really hard on myself and I just want you guys to know that um, when I say that I don't feel good about how I look or my progress I don't ever mean that I'm not happy with my body and that I don't love my body um, you guys know I preach self-love and it's something that I practice every Every single day because when you're a competitive bodybuilder you're very conscious about your body so it's really hard to just appreciate your body for what it is so when I'm complaining that my physique isn't exactly where I want it to be it doesn't mean that I'm not happy with my body it just means progress wise and where I want it to be when I'm on stage I'm very critical of my body because I know that I'm gonna be stepping up in front of judges and I know the look that they want well somewhat I mean in bikini you never really know what the judges want but um it's because I'm strive towards a physique that's gonna be good enough to be on stage but that doesn't mean that I don't love my body as it is this is only while I'm on competition prep but other than that I love my body I love everything I've been able to accomplish over the past years whether I'm shredded or lean or not lean I'm honestly very confident with who I am and how I look and obviously I have my days everybody has those days where they just don't feel their best in their body but that's normal like I've said before um, I've seen what my body is capable of whether it's competition prep or whether it's off season and everything that it's able to do and that's what makes me appreciate my body it's not looking a certain way but it's just how functional um, it is and the things that I'm able to do with it so I think that's something that really helps with accepting your body as it is it's just always trying to focus on the good things about it and just accepting the fact that nobody's perfect as long as you accept those things and just know that 
those imperfections are what make you you and who you are um, you'll be able to really appreciate your body no matter what it looks like this clip this intro clip <laughs> intro clip it's getting a little bit long so I'm just gonna get back to work right now and then I will check in with you guys when we're making the veggies you guys remember this thing that I got in my previous vlog Apparently, I've been living under a rock because these are the most amazing bars that I have ever tried in my life. This is literally so legit. They have um, 200 calories for one cookie, they call it. To me, it's a bar. 13 fat, 8 carb, and 14 grams of protein. And they taste super amazing. Look at it. Please try these. They're so freaking good. Throw them into my smoothie bowl right now. my happiness right here 10 grams for once in my life I'm actually wearing something to cover me because I'm actually super cold I had my smoothie bowl and got really really cold got some Argonine in here it's time to make some veggies as you guys know veggies can get really boring and sometimes prepping veggies is really annoying and it's part of the reason why most of us don't like to eat vegetables so um, if you don't want to get frozen veggies and you want to do something that's a little bit different, more tasteful, then you can give this a try. I'm going to make a big batch, that way I don't have to constantly prep vegetables. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to lock that into my fitness pal as a recipe because I am going to add other things to it that I should probably track. You guys know I want to be as accurate and consistent as possible with our numbers to see really good progress. So I'm going to jump right into that and hopefully you guys like this recipe. basically doing is I'm gonna chop up all the veggies then I'm gonna weigh them separately in this big bowl I'm gonna write down the quantities on my little notebook uh, day planner and then I will put that into my fitness pal later on because I don't want to do that as I go because it's gonna get too complicated so this to me is already complicated enough I'm already going way out of my comfort zone so I'm not gonna try and do two things at once <laughs> yeah <laughs> veggies I mean not eating all the veggies I'm such a snacker when I'm cutting veggies especially peppers I always end up eating like half the pepper just when I'm cutting it so didn't even have one piece so proud of myself guys so my scale did die when I was cutting the peppers so I'm just gonna tear this on here and take them out and then just kind of see how much it totals out to <music> Obviously you guys can cut them up however you want to. I just decided to do it in a very basic way and I should probably use two cooking sheets but I'm not going to. But you guys probably should if you want like the vegetables to cook up better. And if you have a barbecue at home, way better. I don't have a barbecue so I'm using what I got which is an oven and we're just going to stick to it. So the fun part. It's where you guys get to do your own thing and get creative. I'm just going to add whatever seasonings I have. I'm going to add some coconut oil as well. So for the coconut oil, obviously we're going to want to measure this out as well. This is like the most important part to me because coconut oil is very high in fat. So I want to make sure that I'm like counting every single bit of fat that I added to the recipe. I feel like I should have done this in there. Why do I always do this? Like there's so many recipes online and I just can't be bothered. Instead I choose to do this however I feel like doing it. This works. I'm not gonna cook through the okay. We'll see what happens. So these are probably my favorite seasonings, which 
is why I'm gonna use them on the veggies. <laughs> figure out what the macros for the whole thing will be so I'll show you guys how I normally track a recipe that I make or just anything that you want to figure out what the macros are for yourself just kidding guys I have to wait until the veggies are actually ready to figure this out so I will check in with you guys when they're done let's try this again Once you have the quantities all figured out, you're going to go into my fitness pal, you're going to go into recipes and then create a new recipe, then you will enter everything that you've put into the recipe of course, then it's going to give you the amount of calories and macros that the recipe has and after you have those numbers, you're going to want to write them down or just memorize them and then you're going to go into my foods and you will create a new food and then you're going to enter the serving size as grams or ounces or whatever you weight it in as. And then you'll enter however many servings there are. I put just one down and then every time I want to log it, I just basically weigh the veggies out in grams and I will enter however many grams I ate. And that's basically how I did that. So I hope that was helpful to you guys, especially if you want to make other kinds of recipes. It doesn't have to be vegetables. Obviously, it can be like brownies because brownies are better than vegetables, right? <laughs> did you guys know that there's a culture where if you add ketchup to the food, the cook gets offended and I can honestly see why because these veggies are so damn good I didn't even have to add ketchup to my food or any kind of like golden forms I will definitely be having these veggies more often they're so good should we face the rain for cashew milk or if there's no cashew milk there's no kamut puffs if there's no kamut puffs then what am I supposed to eat Here we go. I'm 100% regretting this decision right now, and I don't know why I did this, and I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but I'm here and I'm not going home. And there's thunder and there's lightning, and oh. We're safe and sound at Walmart. This is definitely not my brightest idea. I'm gonna get more than just cash milk, obviously. I'm at a grocery store. We all know that I never actually end up getting just what I need. Um, I mean, I'm here, it's raining outside. I definitely don't want to go back out there for a little bit. So I'm gonna get a few more things that I need and then I'll check in with you guys when I am home. And was it worth it? Absolutely. I am home. It's not even really raining anymore. So I guess I could have waited, but you know, when I want to do something, I just got to do it right there and then. So that's what I did. Got my cashew milk. I'm happy. I am going to make a macro-friendly chicken salad sandwich. So stay tuned for that. Never had this before, but when I'm craving things, I like to just try and wing it and make it macro-friendly. So we're going to give it a go. video has gotten rather lengthy because I have thrown in a lot of random stuff that was kind of irrelevant to the point of today's vlog but that's fine I think I hope um, I do want to wrap up the video because I don't want it to get any longer so um, some updates about my prep there really is nothing that has changed besides my macros which I think I mentioned already it's 170 carb 40 fat and 140 protein cardio has been 1500 calories per week 
uh, training has basically been the same besides deloading this week so honestly there really isn't too much to update you guys on so that's why I'm not going to go into detail about it but um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed then make sure you do that and if you have any questions for me anything to tell me make sure to leave it down below see you guys next video